Niantic is a quaint coastal town located in southeastern Connecticut. It is known mostly for its marinas and the drawbridge that leads to it from Waterford. But those that have spent any time there on a hot summer day know that it also has one other precious commodity, ice cream. It probably comes as no surprise that a beach town has a variety of options when it comes to that coldest and creamiest of delicacies. What might come as a surprise, though, is the history of arguably the town's two best ice cream haunts. Bill Zeilman of Groton owns Frosty Treat, a full-service order-out establishment just off Main Street. He is going into his sixth season running the business, which he purchased with his wife as a business venture when his previous employer, the Mystic Color Lab, shut down several years ago. Zeilman says he works 200 days straight from spring to fall, usually 12 to 14 hours at a time. He likes the business and takes great pride in his soft serve ice cream, which he says he would put up against anyone else's around town. Those sound like fighting words, but Zeilman refuses to admit he's in strict competition with any other ice cream offerings in the area. It's a natural thing to think that you are, and in some respects you are, but I mean, they have their customers and we have ours. Despite Zeilman's diplomacy, he also admits that his business is a tough one, and he's not sure he'll renew his lease when it expires in another four years. Frosty Treat opened in the late 1960s and Zyoman says it is a strong following, but he feels his calling might be better answered elsewhere in the future. Contrast that against the owners of Zyoman's biggest competition, Dairy Queen. Paul Wilson and his daughter Ginny have owned their business located a few blocks away from Frosty Treat on Pennsylvania Avenue since 1953. At one point or another, every one of Paul's brothers have owned a Dairy Queen franchise, though his has the longest tenure. At 87, and by his own admission, Paul doesn't do much of the hard labor anymore, but he still visits the shop almost every day from when it opens in March to when it closes in October. In his estimation, Dairy Queen is the only place to come for ice cream. I, I guess we stand alone. Not everybody knows what the, where the Dairy Queen is. You might say Dairy Queens are in the Wilson's blood, and when asked, Paul says he can't ever imagine giving up the business he's worked so hard to build. So which ice cream is better, you're probably wondering? Well. This journalist is all about objectivity, but truth be told, he's not above bribery either. Only one of these two Niantic ice cream giants offered me a small cone with sprinkles and refused to let me pay for it. And if you're wondering which one, you'll just have to conduct your own investigation. Consider the free ice cream one of the perks of the job. Just make sure you don't look at the nutrition chart. For Quinnipiac University, I'm Christian Camerata.